Hey everyone, today's video I'm doing is my top 5 best ABC shows. Wednesdays are the best day of the week. Well, it's actually Friday because the weekend is near. But Wednesdays can be the best, especially watching some of the most funniest comedy shows that ABC has to offer to watch with the family. Now, I present to you my top 5 best ABC shows. Number 5, The Middle. Finally, Patricia Heaton has her own show. It takes place in Orison, Indiana of a family by the name of the Hex. Here we have as Frankie, a caring, cute, and devoted mother and wife that deals with her everyday life. She will do anything for her family since her motto is, you do for the family. Next is her husband, Mike. He's a devoted husband and father who always there for Frankie and the kids. Speaking of the kids, here we have as Axel, the oldest son and brother of Sue and Brick, who is known for relaxing his boxer shorts when he has nothing better to do and is athletic. Axel is hilarious and very sarcastic and sure he may be lazy and mean to his family but deep down he has a good heart. Here's Sue, the middle child and only daughter of the family who is so damn funny and is so cute and has a beautiful, wonderful, bubbly personality. I love Sue. And <laughs> she just cracks me up the way she has that big grin on, on her face. She She's like the real life of Meg Griffin of Family Guy, since she's unpopular and is unrecognized by her teachers and peers. Wow, and I thought Meg had a bad. Either way, Sue is still determined to keep her head held high. Lastly, Brick, the youngest and the smartest of the family since he loves reading books. And is known for repeating the last words in a sentence to himself. To himself. The Middle is a, fam is a funny and a touching show about family sticking together. And is one show that gives great morals about family being together and spending time each and every end of an episode. And The Middle is just great and I love it. Number 4 is Subur Suburgatory. At first, I thought this show was going to suck, but I was wrong. It's hysterical. A show about a single dad and his 15-year-old daughter where they move from New York City to the suburbs. The show is so funny, the characters are funny in their own ways, and the plots are very well done. So, Suburgatory is definitely a, a favorite comedy show to enjoy. And, the chick that plays Tessa on the show, she looks exactly like Emma Stone. They could be long lost sisters. Wow. Moving on to number three, Happy Endings. I love this show to death. It's like Friends of the 2000s. The show is about a group of friends living in Chicago. Starting off here we have is Dave, the ex-fiance of Alex where she left on their wedding day. After that he quits his office job and follows his dream of having a steak sandwich food truck business. Next we have is Alex, Dave's ex-fiance who is so cute and left him on and again left him on their wedding day but still has regrets about it. Here we have his Brad. He's the husband of Jane who does whatever she says. And there's his wife Jane who is cute and is somewhat of a control freak of a wife and older sister of Alex. Moving on to Max, a homosexual guy who's sarcastic and enjoys playing video games. And lastly, Penny, again, cute, and the group's single friend who worries about finding that special someone. The episodes are very well done, the main characters are funny in their own way, and it's one show that makes you wet your pants. This show is hysterical and it was definitely a great replacement for Kelsey Grammer's Frank, Hank, that only lasted a couple of episodes. So this is definitely a great replacement. Thank God. Number two, Cougar Town. It's cool to see Courtney Cox have her own show. This show along with happy endings takes comedy to a whole new level. Here we have is Jules Cobb. She's a recently divorced single mother who worries about dating and getting older. Next we have is her friends. First off we have is Ellie. Jules also next door neighbor. And then there's Lori, who is Jules' 
sometimes known as a friend and funny and hot employee. And she is known as having a fun loving personality. And Ellie is the one that gets jealous of Lori. So that's why these two go back and forth sometimes and despise each other. Next we have is Bobby, Jules' ex-husband who lives in a boat in a parking lot. Travis, Jules and Bobby's only son that hates when his parents embarrass him even though he loves them to death. Next is Andy, Ellie's husband and also Jules' neighbor as well. And finally Grayson, a bar owner, Jules' other neighbor and current boyfriend in the recent season. This show is so funny that I get so excited when, when it comes on. So I salute Cougar Town. But so far the show is supposed to be returning for another season. And I can't wait that long. But how is it even going to fit in the Wednesday lineup now since the Burgatory is in it? Oh well, I'm sure they'll figure something out. But I really want to watch Cougar Town. It's been months since we've seen a new season so far. Anyways... Now it's time for the number one best show, Modern Family. It was a tough one between this show and Cougar Town. Anyways, this show is about three families. Let's start off with the Dunphy family. First off, let's start with Phil, a funny, cool dad and husband with a ju juvenile attitude. Next we have his hot wife, Claire, who is the most overprotective but loving wife and mother. Now on to the kids. First off is Haley, the oldest daughter who's a bimbo and a naive one and looks like Mila Kunis from that 70s show. Look at that. They could be long lost sisters. Next is Alice, the, the middle child and the intelligent one of the family. And lastly, Luke, the youngest and only son who can also be a troublemaker. Now let's move it on to the Pritchett family. Here we have is Jay. He is Clara Mitchell's father. Next we have is Gloria, Jay's sexy and much younger wife and mother of her son Manning. She is known for mispronouncing words due to her Colombian accent, which makes her very funny and a very sexy, beautiful person inside and out. I just love her accent. It's so sexy and ooze. And I, and I love a woman that's, that's, that's funny as well. Guys like that. And lastly, Manning. Gloria's son, who's very mature for his age and has a romantic side. And lastly, the Tucker Pritchett family. Here we have his Mitchell, Jay's son and Claire's younger brother, and is the exact opposite of his partner Cameron. Cameron, Mitchell's partner, is hysterical and has a bubbly, outgoing personality. And lastly, Lily, their adopted daughter. So far, Modern Family is the sixth highest rated show and the third highest overall sitcom behind CBS's The Big Bang Theory and Two and a Half Man. This show won so many Emmy Awards for a reason. Modern Family is so hysterical that it's to die for. And I love this show very much and I definitely get excited to watch it every Wednesday to check it out. Great job, Modern Family. Keep it up. Well, this has been my top five best ABC shows. Wednesdays is the place to watch these shows with your family for good times. And it's definitely perfect when coming home from work or school to just kick back and relax with your family and just enjoy nothing but the good old comedy shows on Wednesdays. Anyways, this has been my top five ABC shows and... If you have your favorite top five AB, ABC shows of these shows that are in this video in order, you may comment if you like and tell me what you think. Anyways, this is it. Bye-bye.